380. Now this one I'm going to put together is out of a TD5 that came from Ontario that was really bad. It was all busted up. <laughs> the casing was damaged. This front cover was damaged. Lay shaft finished. And these were pretty expensive parts. I mean, that is, that's the state of the oil pump. It just was absolutely knackered. But, I've got a few spare parts. And we thought, JP and I, we put our heads together and said, can we salvage this casing? And he said, yes. Now, just to confirm this, I contacted Ashcroft and asked them what they do. And they said, oh, we just sleeve them when they've got damaged. So I thought, oh, that's a good idea. So what JP did was he made a little top hat bush. So it's like a little top hat, chapeau. And um, we've put it in there, it's a press fit, and it's been loctated in. But we took this one step further. Well, the gearbox I've just done for a chap out in Vancouver, uh, these are the lay shaft bearings, <laughs> really flimsy little things. And these have got a ring on. Now I think these were from the old days when they used to do the LT77s. Um, as you can remember when I opened the box for an R3, was it an R380 kit? Uh, Dave Ashcroft sent me one of these for 20 quid and it's a casing. Now bear in mind what I said about that ring. The new bearing didn't have that ring on. But look at this. It's loose in there. Now, it seems to be that they only need to touch this face here. But that means that that bearing is only going into the housing that much. It's not going into the housing full. So once we'd, once we'd established that, I said, to, I said to JP, I said, well, why don't we make just a little steel ring to go into here and then when we put the bearing in, that's supported in this cover and in here. So that should make it really, really strong. Because I couldn't see the point. JP said, well, why, did, why did they machine it out so far? Do they have intentions of putting bigger bearings in? Who knows? But this is what it came with. <clears throat> and we just did another gearbox which was exactly the same. That bearing's all rattly. Uh, that's the original bearing out of that box, so you can see perhaps the damage on it. It was just kaput. So I'm going to start to put this box together. I'm not going to do it all, uh, you know, step by step. I just wanted to show you some bits and pieces that, that, um, that we noticed and how we're going to try and fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the oil seal in here, put the bearing in, Put this little ring in, bolt it to this cover, to this casing, and we're going to set the shims and we're going to have a look and see actually how, how they are. We've got bearings, so that's not a problem. Let's see how we come on. Well, that's the uh, bearings fitted. I've got a couple of new bearings in there. So you can see down here, there's the um, primary motion shaft and this is the one we've repaired and it lined up absolutely beautifully with no, no problems at all so I'm kind of confident in that uh, casing. 